Hi guys, today I'm just going to take you through a simple stretch routine that I love to use after I've been cycling. So I come onto my mat, I get myself into my all fours position. So my wrists are under my shoulders, knees are under my hips. And then we're just going to do cat stretch. So I take my head between my hands, arch my back into the ceiling, hold it there for an inhale. Then I exhale, roll myself in the other direction. So I'm just taking my back through flexion and extension and making sure that it's nice and slow and controlled. Working through my pelvis and this just helps to take any tension out of my back that may have happened from it being stuck in one position while I was riding my bike. Then from here I bring myself back into my box position. And then I just take my arm through the gap and hold it there. Inhale and then exhale, bring it back and the other way. So now I'm just working into rotation through my back. And I tend to do three or four of these to each side. Then coming down onto the mat. I'm going to bring one leg in, just holding my foot on my bum, pushing my hip into the floor, holding it there. I tend to hold this for 30 seconds and then just try and develop this a little bit to hold it for another 30 seconds. Pushing your hip into the floor. So it just stretches out through that quad, and you can use the floor to kind of help you get a bit of a deeper stretch. go into a cobra so just into a back stretch just careful you haven't got any pinching in that lower back and I just do a couple of these nice and slow and controlled just taking my back into extension and the final one and I come back into child's pose taking my knees wide bringing myself back making sure that you don't drop your head to the mat so you keep your neck nice and long and then just feel like you're pulling your shoulder blades away from your hands holding it there then I take my hands out to the left make sure you're breathing into your stretch you get a nicer deeper stretch if you just keep breathing into it so breathe into the space you've created from stretching that muscle holding it there bring my arms back to the middle and round to the right hand side Again, holding that stretch, breathing into it. And coming back to the middle. And then Grabbing a band, but you if you don't have a band, you can always grab a pair of thick tights or a tie makes a perfect band. Uh, even an inner tube makes a good band. Then I'm putting it around my left foot and I'm just bringing that leg in. So I'm stretching out through 
that hamstring. If you get a fizzy foot, let it off a little bit. You've gone too far holding it there. Pointing your toe at your face, if you can bring it a little bit closer, just developing that stretch. And then bring my leg over my body, holding it there. Letting that leg fall out to the side, making sure your opposite hip stays on the floor so you're not rolling away from it. Keep your hips on the floor. Bring that leg back to the middle. Putting my other leg in the band, bringing in that hamstring stretch again, making sure you can feel it in the body of the muscle and not just tight around the back of your knee, making sure your foot doesn't go fizzy so you're not stretching neurally, you're stretching the muscle. You take your face, bring it a little bit closer. And just guiding that leg over your body, holding it there. To the middle, put the band into your opposite hand, let that leg fall out to the side again. Careful that hip doesn't come off the floor, make sure your hip stays on the floor, holding it there. And bringing that leg back to the middle. Taking that band off, giving yourself a full body stretch to just see if you can make yourself longer. And we are done. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. They were just a couple of stretches I use after I've been riding. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.